Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I want to talk to you about a game called Century Age of Ashes. I know a lot of you have been seeing this lately, it's because it's getting ready to release. It's being put out by Playwing, and Playwing is actually doing its own, not only development for it, but their own uh, publishing for it, which is excellent because then there's not another company that's involved with it. They did delay Liz, this game, so I want to make it very perfectly clear that all video that you see up here above is uh, actually beta testing from months and months and months ago, like almost a year now. So long ago that I can't even give you some actual opinions on what the current playtesting will be like or what the game will be like when it goes live. I can tell you that PC Gamer and IGN have recently covered this game. I'll try to grab an article where I can post it down in the comment section below where you can see it and you'll get all the description and everything that you need for the game. I'm here to tell you what I thought of it when I played it. When I played this game, it was kind of hard to play because there wasn't a whole lot to it when it came to being intuitive. Uh, there wasn't a great tutorial or anything like that. It was literally just playtesting. And uh, it came very difficult to maneuver and and things of that nature when you were on keyboard and mouse uh when you were on a controller it was perfectly fine but when you were on keyboard and mouse it, it the button combination seemed really hard and difficult to deal with i'm pretty sure that they've already dealt with that already so i want to make sure that you guys understand the position we are with this i'm not going to comment on whether the game is good or bad when it comes to uh, everything that it's going to be like when it's released because that would be inappropriate of me what i can tell you is that when i did this play test i had a whole lot of fun with it there's some quality of life items i hope they actually improved on when they first had this game out compared to what it will be when it will release one of those being that the lock-on system wasn't very good and it was very difficult to get all the stamina uh, that you need to as you can see there's four diamonds that are there that that is your stamina to be able to dash and you're going to notice that it is hard for you to see inside this game it was long before i got a new camera set up and everything shifted over so you're going to have my face and everything right in the middle of it so i apologize for that but there have been a great many people that have asked me whether they think they should play this or not what i can tell you just from sheer experience inside of this beta if the game is improved upon from what it was when I played it, it's going to be even better than when I played it. And when I played it, we had literally loads of fun. We played it for a full four hours. Normally, I do a review on a game. I play it long enough to get a good sense of it, get an opinion, uh, unless I put some actual time into it. And I actually put some time into this game. The reason why I put some time into this game is because it was absolutely addictive. Once I understood the basic core mechanics of the game, where it was going with it, the modes it was, I got us taken out of the ranked because we went into ranked immediately and I I wasn't aware that we were in ranked. Some of the menus were kind of spotty and things of that nature, but like I said, these are probably all things that were changed since I played it. I was really happy to see that they delayed the game, one, because it needed a few more things tweaked about it, but they really delayed it because they didn't want to release it during uh, during the 2042 release for Battlefield. And it was kind of weird to have them automatically admit that, but it, it was literally slated the day after Battlefield was going to go live. And I think that was a smart decision, and it also bought them some time to be able to work out some of the bugs and kinks with it. I'm hoping that there's an anti-cheat that's going to be involved with it because there were clearly some shady things that people were working on while we were playing you could tell they were sitting still and they were probably coding and things like that for it the servers were super stable i would hope so because playwing has uh their own servers and their own publication uh they do a lot of mobile games or at least they have in the past and they're part of uh, another company i want to say it's called ama productions or something along that lines uh that has been either purchased or absorbed by Playwing at some point, and that's how they turned into Playwing. Playwing has some actual at real talented developers on their team. Just getting the core basis of this game and flight mechanics are, are difficult to do in almost any game, but in this game it was almost flawless. Uh, I can tell you that we never really had any server issues, we didn't have any jitters, we didn't have any desync or any lag with it. It was 
it was pretty solid when it came to that and i don't expect that to change during release the best part about this game is it's going to be free to play that's right you heard me free to play it does have some founder packs that you can actually buy in either to support the game but obviously it's a free to play title that it's going to need to monetize in some form or fashion once you get the hang of the movement and i really suggest that you don't skip the tutorial whatsoever then you'll realize that this game can be lots of fun it'll be frustrating at first especially if you skip the tutorial because they will have a hard time trying to understand the movement and why people are outrunning you and how they're dashing and so forth i'm not going to go into the details for that there's going to be lots of ways for you to see that kind of information as an overall opinion i'm telling you now that if you are interested in this title play it what do you have to lose it's free to play considering some of the other free to play titles i have covered and you've seen that i've been pretty critical and pretty harsh on them that i'm not going to be harsh on this one particularly because it is so well done even in the play test that i did and we had issues within the play test especially with uh the way that some imbalances and numbers were going but i'm sure they have ironed all that out uh there's one big quality of life improvement that i hope that they worked on and which is when you go to inspect your dragon there wasn't any y axis so you had x axis so you can move side to side but you couldn't move up and down which made looking at your your prize or your skin or anything that you earn like that kind of difficult to look at uh but it makes excellent screenshots i can tell you that much so the thumbnails will be pretty epic for this title other than that this title is going to be super amazing i don't expect it to be like on par with like battlefield 2042 or anything like that that's a bit unrealistic but if you want a game that you can whip out co-op with your friends play for a little bit be in a fantasy world fight with dragons you're going to have an excellent time with this i hope you guys have a wonderful day remember to tell your loved ones you love them often Hit that bell notification and the subscription button to know when I upload new videos. Uh, at the moment, we're just kind of doing hot takes as we're doing videos. I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave up another play session at the end of this for you guys to see. You don't have to watch it. It'll be the end of the review, and I'll put up a chapter for it. And this way, you guys will get a chance to see a full game without my voice over it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love every one of you. Peace. All right, where is Gum? Try to stay with you. It's gonna be kind of. Oh, there we go. I'm immediately dead. Oh, well, I tried to save you, but yeah. I do like the fact that you can respawn during the match. I killed a guy <laughs> as a as a healer, by the way. BT dubs. Yeah, like this dude went invisible, and then yep. immediately turned on me. I lost. Well, that's fine. That's gonna happen a lot. Where is he? I killed another guy as a healer. <laughs> ah! Oh gosh, I'm on top! That's what the Dragon Rider would say. He'd be like, I'm on fire, and then he wouldn't have a chance. He'd just be dead. I'm on fire! I'm coming, gum. Oh crap, I just I'm coming gum through all that. This is not gum, but I'm gonna heal him anyway. Killed another guy. Yeah, I think this is the guy we were both chasing. I'm marking the, the guy with the thing in front of me. Yep, he's yep. dead too. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh! Ow! 
No lock. Dead instantly. But I feel like a healer might be probably weaker. Probably. I don't know if they all have the same HP or not. I'm gonna Killed say him. they don't. I gotta find my homie. I'm dead. I'm gonna be oh. here in just a second. Ow, I hit a wall. <sighs> By the way, not good for you. Don't. I would not recommend hitting a wall. It hurts. Yeah. I can't see anything once you hit the wall. I killed someone else. Uh, no, it will. It, yeah, it'll be play to win. Yes, not pay to win. Even when everyone gets the injections, I'm still going to wait like four to six months and are going out on a consistent basis. I'm not going out anymore, period. Ow. Excuse me? What is this? Killed another so guy. Apparently, if you kill the Phoenix, you turn into the Phoenix. Asocial, Jason? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I I shouldn't say asocial because that's not the case. I talk to everybody. I just... I just don't feel the need to go out anymore. I have my family at home. I don't go to bars. I don't... If it's something that me and Storm are doing, then sure. But you know, other than that, I just I just don't feel the need anymore to go out like I used to. Go out with Storm on a date, sure. Go out for a movie with her or go to eat, great. I just don't have the need anymore in my life to go and hang out with people. I don't know why. I just don't. I mean, you can do interactions without being in front of somebody. You just won't have a physical interaction, but an interaction is still an interaction. Sweet, you got him. Yeah, I don't know with what. I didn't do anything. Was he hitting my fucking poison trail? It's possible. That's it had to have been, because that's the only other thing that could have got him. Wasn't me. I didn't do that. Ow, that fucking hurt. I got melted. Actually, not gonna lie, healer, pretty good, pretty fun. I've got the most kills on healer, which is kind of weird, but go ahead. Uh, once somebody gets locked on to you, man, I, it's, I don't understand how these people shake people, right? I can't. I, there seems to be no amount of distance I can run or do to get away from someone who's yeah. chasing me. I know, when I'm locked on, yeah, I, I, I know what you're talking about. I don't get it either, actually. I got our ass beat.